Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of a video file with minimal quality loss. If you look at this example of these two 4K clips, can you tell which one is the original and which one is the compressed clip? Take a guess in the comments down below and stick around to find out. And don't cheat, don't skip ahead for the answer. Before we get started, it's important to know that whenever you compress a video file in order to reduce the size of it, there's going to be some kind of quality loss. A lot of people want to compress a video without losing quality, but in reality, going from a 16.56 gigabyte file to a 2.56 gigabyte file, which is six and a half times smaller, comes at a price, which is generally a loss in quality. The goal is to minimize the amount of quality loss, and in this video, you'll learn how to do it and how to get the best results. First, you need to download Handbrake. It's free and it's available on Mac and Windows, and you can get it from handbrake.fr. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now that you have it installed, let me show you how Handbrake works and how the different settings affect your video files. You can import video files by clicking on open source over here, or by dragging a video file directly into Handbrake. You can choose from one of the default presets here, but I've gotten the best results from customizing these settings. I'll go through all of the settings so you know what they do, but I'll share my preset with you as well so that you don't have to follow these steps every time, but more on that later. You can choose from these three options for your format, but 99% of the time you'll want to choose MP4. Let's switch to the Dimensions tab. Here you can change the resolution if you need to. I would turn anamorphic off and make sure this box to keep the aspect ratio is checked. Under cropping settings, you'll want to make sure that custom is selected and that the cropping values for all four sides are set to zero. If you have those cinematic black bars on your video and you convert using the automatic setting, Handbrake will crop the bars off and it'll change the dimensions of your video. On the filters tab, you want to make sure that everything is set to off. You don't want to deinterlace anything or add any effects to your video files. Moving on to the next tab, the video tab, and this is probably the most important of them all. You'll want to set your video encoder to this H.264 codec. This is the most widely used one, and this is the codec you'll want to select if you're wanting to upload to YouTube or to use on most devices. Next, you'll want to set your frame rate to same as source. This is important because you don't want to change the frame rate of your video file. You want it to always be the same, and you'll also want to always set a constant frame rate. The next thing you'll adjust is the quality slider. Moving to the right will increase the quality, but will also increase the file size. Moving to the left will decrease the quality and make the file size smaller. I've found that the sweet spot is at around 18. This gives me the most manageable file size with minimal quality loss on the video. I've tested this quality slider past 18 and found that the increase in quality is hardly noticeable, but the file size is much bigger. So 18 is the sweet spot. If you want to get really technical, you can play with the encoder options here, but that's not really necessary. You can also adjust the audio settings over here I generally leave this as is because the audio compression is pretty decent. You can also force subtitles to be burnt in or create chapter markers, but that's not really necessary for this video. Okay, with all of those settings customized, you're ready to reduce the file size of your video. The last step is to click on Browse at the bottom here and choose where to save your new MP4 video file. I'll just export it directly to the desktop and hit Choose. Then click Start at the top. It will take some time to complete the compression depending on how big and how long your video file is. And it's as easy as that. I'm going to give you my presets so that you don't have to remember the settings or dial them in every time you want to compress a video file, so I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. The preset is called Full Resolution and it will match the video dimensions, whether that's a 4K video file, a 1920x1080 file, or even a vertical or square format for Instagram and Facebook. Once you have downloaded it, you can import it by heading over to the preset menu, clicking on the gear icon and selecting Import. Once you have imported it, make sure you click on the full resolution preset again, click on the gear icon and select make default. That way, every time you open Handbrake, you can just drop a file in and hit start without needing to select a preset first. You might want to create your own presets if you want to create low resolution viewing versions for clients or to create a really small emailable version. You can do that by changing any of the settings you need to change and heading over to the presets menu and clicking on this plus button over here. Lastly, you can also compress your video files in a batch. To do that, you can drag and drop a folder with a bunch of video files into Handbrake. Once it's finished scanning the files, you can click on this drop-down box to see all of these video files that are ready to be compressed. If I click Add to Queue and then on this Queue button here to show my queue, you'll see that only one file has been added. I'll click here to get rid of that and instead, 
head over to File, Add All Titles to Q. The shortcut for this is Command Shift B on Mac and it's probably Control Shift B on Windows. Now that all the video files have been added to the queue, you can hit start. Did you comment below to guess which video clip is the original and which video clip is the compressed one? The compressed video is the one on the left and the original clip is on the right. There is hardly any noticeable difference in the video quality, but the difference in file size is huge. That's all I have for you guys. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to reduce a video's file size with minimal quality loss. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you're into video editing, filmmaking and photography tutorials or travel vlogs, then that's what this channel is all about. So please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.